Welcome to the final video in the Premonition series. If you haven't seen these, I recommend watching the first one. I started with introducing the model and explaining the major assembly steps. Later videos show detail for the components, the cockpit, core, nacelles, engines, and wings. Finally today, I'll be showing great detail for the display stand. I'll put together the ship's stand step by step. All right, let's build. Uh, let's take a look at the display stand uh, here. And the stand has a, a couple of features. Uh, the angle at which things are displayed uh, can be changed uh, by removing this Technic axle uh, and changing where this lift arm connects uh, to the main uh, support structure. Uh, there are some nifty things happening here at the top to provide a very strong connection up into the ship. Uh, some clips, uh, some plates that are going to go into some exposed studs, uh, and a place here in the back where there's a hole that a Technic axle will go through uh, to latch into the ship itself. Uh, down in the uh, just looks for the ship uh, for the uh, for the stand rather um, so uh, mostly dark tan uh, there's some pops of tan uh, sand blue uh, and then some inset tan here around the edges and when I bring this around uh, uh, you can see the fit of the angles for which the inset tan come together are pretty clean. The, that geometry is quite nice. Uh, and then the stand itself has a large number of these uh, transclear boat studs on it uh, to lift everything up, just a, a half plate up off the desk uh, or the table uh, for display. So uh, I'd like to show you how the stand is built. Let's start building this stand. And uh, I will begin with the uh, main support structure that goes up to the ship. Uh, this has two halves. Uh, here's the first of those, and so uh, there are uh, four of these uh, long lift arms and trans clear, a uh, bunch of Technic pins holding them together, uh, the one down here at the bottom. Uh, then up at the top, uh, there, these are, uh, there are two, let me move this out of the way, there are two half pins uh, and a, a two, three long uh, bars, uh, which are inserted through the half pin and then into the back into a, a brick with four side studs. Two of those side studs are going into the holes here um, where they're held very securely. Uh, the other two are going in this little sub assembly. Uh, this is a headlight brick into a one by two plate a stack of some one by ones uh, up to a tile and a cheese here. So it looks like this. The other half uh, is nearly identical. Uh, the top uh, is a, a mirror image of that uh, precisely, uh, but the Technic pin configuration down the bottom is slightly different. Okay, so we have uh, these two halves, and they're going to get connected up in the top uh, for this uh, bit, which is the, the part which is going to support the ship itself. If I pull this apart uh, in dark tan, uh, this is a, a Technic brick, uh, not Technic brick, a brick with four side studs. Uh, on top of it is a uh, one by two, one by two by two plate uh, with two side studs. Uh, and then this is uh, feeding into uh, below uh, two more of this technique of dropping in bars in to make things strong. These are three long bars and there's a two long lift arm out this side. And uh, this bit is uh, then connected into the bottom of, uh, of uh, this section. So these are two of uh, those uh, baby D snot elements, uh, which uh, are going up into the bottom, maybe one by two to one by two inverted bracket here in tan. Uh, they carrying forward, uh, that's going into two uh, one by two plates that have clips on them. Uh, there's a, a one by one plate here, like so. Uh, and then on top of that is a, a two by two tile with two studs and a um, bow across that. So it looks like this. And the back of those baby D elements are going to come in through here. So here's this uh, this bit. And so I'm going to drop this across these studs now. Uh, and this is just going to uh, temporarily pull these two parts together. And we're going to begin to cinch this up and make it super strong, uh, starting with uh, some plates across the top 
two one by fours, yellow and green. And I'll put this along the top of all those uh, bricks with all the side studs like this. Then uh, from, and we're gonna cinch it up a bit here from below uh, using these sub assemblies. These are uh, two by two corner plates uh, and blay. Uh, there's a round plate underneath an inverted bracket underneath and a couple of uh, 45 degree slopes with cutouts on top. And uh, these are going to come in underneath here and latch everything together nice and strong. This is very satisfying. Okay. Then I have a, a two by three tile uh, and that's gonna cut across this entire bottom section like this. Uh, then we're going to begin to add in uh, all kinds of Technic bits uh, with lift arms, um, actually with lots and lots of lift arms. Uh, here's the first of those, uh, have these long lift, these lift arms in trans clear, uh, and then uh, mini uh, pins uh, into uh, these uh, four to one uh, L-shaped lift arms. Uh, there are one in the back, one in the front, a three long lift arm here. Everything's pinned through with pens, I suppose, except for this one, which has a uh, too long axle in it. And uh, this is going to come along, uh, the, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, come along the back here on this side. So let's see if this makes sense. It does. Very good. Okay. So a little bit fiddly. Let me see if I get everything in. Nice. Nice. Okay, so here's this side. Uh, then here comes more, the other side. Uh, some more lift arms. Uh, this is uh, pinned into those uh, L-shaped lift arms, four to one, three long one here. Uh, there is a uh, pin joiner here. Uh, then uh, I should point out to, uh, to maybe two interesting things happening. So there is a, I'm using these uh, flick missiles. So there's a, so from here, between these, uh, this hole to this hole, uh, there is a Technic friction pin and then a flick missile comes in the other side to give a stud to connect to. And uh, if possible, you can see I've done something similar here, uh, back here on this side. Uh, flick missiles in uh, and then it is going inside of this pin. Uh, there's an axle here. And uh, this will come along on uh, this side and uh, match up with everything. All right. Sitch it all up. There we go. Okay, next bit, uh, this is the last of the lift arms, uh, two of the one by four L-shaped lift arms, uh, many Technic pins all over this, uh, and a um, uh, this is a double pin uh, to an axle uh, here uh, in the center. And then uh, I just need to remember where how this goes, uh, but it's gonna be off on this side of the unit. I think, uh, yeah, very nice. Okay, so into the axle here, and then all these pins will connect in. Yes, 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 very good. Okay, getting close for the support strut. Uh, so now uh, two more of the uh, long trans clear uh, lift arms. I think these are 14 long. Uh, and then this uh, this has a, a half pin at the top. It's that new groovy new friction one. Uh, and it's going into the back of this uh, plate with a hole on it, two of these. And uh, these are going to come along the top and the back of this uh, half pin is going to go into the exposed bar. It's gonna be picked up by these studs here underneath. 
uh, and then carry it all the way down here to the bottom. super strong uh, final little bit of finishing uh, here is a, a double bow plates underneath it uh, and then it has six uh, round plates stacked on top and that's going to come across the top here mostly just for looks to clean the last bit of polish okay so now we have the uh, support stand let's move to the base of the uh, display stand and that starts with this component so there is a very long uh, two by plate here in black uh, across the top uh, that is over on this side there's a grill tile uh, there's a, a corner a two by two corner and tan uh, and then uh, two opposed uh, one by two plates uh, with the holes on top uh, here uh, uh, that are then sitting uh, pinned underneath a two by four plate, a one by four plates, some cheese, some uh, tiles with um, modified tiles with two studs, and two uh, one by three tiles, and then this is pinned back into two corner plates, uh, two by two corner plates in black, uh, and then lots of boat studs everywhere. So this is our starting point, and into that. Uh, two of these, I'm going to need to pull this apart slightly. All right, uh, one by 12 plate uh, here along the bottom. Uh, that's capped uh, with a uh, two by plate, two by two plate here uh, with many 45 degree slopes sitting on top of it. A um, Another uh, two by two plate here. Uh, this one has an inverted bracket in light bright orange, uh, a one by plate, a cheese, round plate, uh, and then a, a, a one by four plate here underneath. And uh, this unit then, uh, to make sure I put this back together correctly, should be like this, I believe, on this side. Um, uh, this, by the way, uh, is a two by two plate uh, with two side studs in dark tan, and uh, sorry, in tan, uh, and then a three by corner plate. Uh, this new part that I really like. Uh, there's a, another corner plate uh, or two by two plate sitting on top of that. So the last little bit is this support. This is a uh, one by one brick uh, with two side studs. It's got a round plate and then a plate with a hole on top of that. Uh, on this side is an inverted one by one to one by one bracket and a plate with a clip on it. And uh, that's going to come in here and face outward uh, towards the uh, 45 degree slopes. And it's butted, uh, it butts up against the uh, this bit of black, uh, which is allowed because the top of the stud uh, is, this is a hollow stud. So it's going to be two and a half plates uh, down this side. So I have uh, two of these as almost a mirror image, um, but I have just one boat stud here uh, that's going to cut across the, the both of them. Uh, and then this is going to uh, come on top of uh, our, uh, on top of this uh, original component. So it's going to look like this. Going to further cinch that up uh, with a uh, one by six uh, plate in dark tan, a couple of uh, slope 45 degree slopes of the cutout on top uh, that have some uh, uh, one by two rounded plates on there, uh, which will come on top like this. Okay, set this aside for just a moment. Now uh, building out another component. So uh, this bit, uh, should I further open this up? Okay, that's good. So uh, there's a, a two by four plate here in black, uh, pinned uh, underneath it are two uh, one by four plates, uh, one by two rounded plates here in green. 
Uh, and then that's carrying out uh, on the top into a two by three plate and a one by three plates. There's a one by two here in blue on top. And that's picking up a one by six here in the back. So there's a bunch of plate stacking going on, except for this one modified tile uh, that has studs uh, just on the two sides. And on top of this, we're gonna use this six long Technic beam, two of these, uh, which are capped with tiles, uh, one by two and the corner tile. So that comes together as so. Uh, and then this unit uh, then is on top, goes on top into this one. Uh, there are uh, two uh, bits here where there's a, a, a two by two uh, plate with two side studs uh, in tan. Uh, that it has a one by two plate across it that's then um, uh, tagging that on top of the uh, three by three corner plate. Uh, all of that has some boat studs underneath it. Uh, and a one by four plate back here, but it gets held in securely uh, once I drop it into the bottom of these Technic beams. Okay, so it looks like that. And uh, I can go ahead and uh, make this symmetric. So, and then uh, two uh, yellow uh, uh, one by one plates here. Uh, into this component will go uh, two of these. This is a one by 12 plate. Uh, it has a uh, one by six plate on top of it, uh, one by two off the side, uh, 45 degree slope, uh, a one by three tile at the back. And then underneath it uh, is a mirror image of what I showed previously, uh, where there's a, um, uh, a one by uh, uh, brick with two side studs, a, a bracket off the inverted bracket, one by one to one by one off the back with a clip on top, round plate, round plate with a hollow stud. And uh, these will uh, come up on top here uh, to cut across this unit. Nice and strong. Second one, nice and strong. So it looks like this. Uh, this entire subassembly, then uh, we can uh, add into our display stand. It's right on top. Oh, uh, and then I forgot to add a, a whole bunch of these uh, dark tan uh, 45 degree slopes uh, with the bottom cut out. And uh, we'll use those to cover up all of the dark green bits here on this side, more even, and do the same thing over here. Complete. With this in place, uh, I can tag across the entire unit using this uh, two by six plate. Uh, it has four 45 degree uh, uh, slopes coming off of it. Uh, and then this is decorative around uh, two by two tile and a couple of one by two uh, plates that are round and it will come across here where it looks like that. Uh, then uh, into uh, this back section uh, here is a, just a small stack. So two by two plate, two by three tile. Uh, we'll come in over here like this, and then I will uh, uh, put in the front here a, a stack. This is a one by one round plate uh, with a quarter tile on top. So two of those, uh, which then uh, lead to a nice kind of round circle here leading into the center. On the opposite side, I'm going to drop in this uh, pentagonal tile. So I just want the, re the reveal uh, with the beveled edges here. And, uh, and then I will cover up that the point uh, using these uh, two long 30 degree cheese. Okay, so it looks like this. Now, I'll bring in this subassembly. So this is a one, two, three, uh, two by two to one by two brackets. Uh, and the, as a stack, uh, 
they are carrying three ladder elements here in dark tan. Uh, and, and so in between the ladder, filling the ladder elements and those brackets wherever necessary are round one by two tiles. Uh, I'm sorry, round one by two plates and blade to give some texture when you can see through these. So that runs the uh, entire length, uh, except for here where uh, I've got a uh, one by one Technic brick in the center, and which are carrying two big lift arms. Uh, and then tapping this off is a plate with a door rail uh, to give the one plate uh, push out to make this uh, nearly level and a couple of round tiles. This entire unit then uh, is going to go into the display stand in this channel uh, and then back up underneath these um, 30 degree slopes so that, it, that the uh, lift arms can pivot. So I'll push this down just a little bit and drop this in. So looks like this. I have another stack of the same uh, design technique, a little bit, uh, which is two of these ladders, uh, two of the uh, two by two to one by two plates uh, full of the round plates. Uh, and again, uh, topped with a door rail, this time a one by two round plate and a couple of round tiles. And this will come in the other side uh, into this channel, like this. And this is giving uh, some texture and interest to the top of the display stand here with this ladder and a bit of, of a blaze uh, up coming, coming up through the center of that. All right, uh, now uh, to continue with this, I need to attach the big uh, support stand that we made earlier. And uh, that's gonna connect into the display stand uh, here at the, the uh, bottom of this lift, each of these lift arms. Uh, it's a Technic, uh, it's a Technic axle, and, uh, which I happen to have uh, right here. So I'm gonna uh, set this in and then drop the, uh, oops, I guess I can start this here before. Uh, set this in and then drop the Technic axle through the tan holes on the inside. So this looks uh, like that. Way right through. Uh, I'm going to uh, then um, attach these lift arms uh, into a position where uh, just to hold this top of the stand steady at an angle. Uh, this is adjustable, so you can attach it wherever you want and change the angle. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, twice times two, I'm going to attach these. Uh, this is a, oops, uh, a three by three wedge plate. Uh, it, uh, two of those, there's a one by three tile, uh, four one by two tiles, and two uh, uh, triangular tiles here in tan. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, take this uh, uh, tan uh, Technic brick, uh, drop it here, uh, and then bring across the top this element to latch that in. And I will do exactly the same thing on the other side. There we go. Progress. Now I have uh, two bits that are extending off uh, the stand as supports. And uh, I will uh, maybe open this up. So there are two, uh, two three by three uh, plates here in uh, dark blay, a two by three plate in dark tan, uh, separating those two three by threes. Uh, a one by four tile across, one by six, uh, with a Technic brick uh, underneath it, which I'll put back on this side. Uh, from below, uh, that uh, then uh, feeds into a uh, one by 10 uh, uh, plate here in dark tan. Uh, that plate underneath it is carrying in the center, there's a channel, uh, which is uh, then uh, carrying a one by six 
Technic uh, beam, if that catches the light properly. Uh, and that's then into the back of some plate assembly uh, with this uh, two by uh, three plate with a cut in the center. Underneath that is pinned a two by two plate with side studs. And uh, when I put the boat stud in there, it's carrying one of these baby D snot elements. Okay, so this uh, pins up underneath right into the Technic beam. Finally, on either side of that is this uh, little sub-assembly. So there's a, a brick with side stud. Into the bottom of that is a one by one to one by one inverted bracket uh, and a tile with a clip. And the top of it is another baby D snot element. And then the uh, two pl round plates and a round tile. And uh, then with the two studs, this will uh, tap in here. This looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and reattach uh, all of these uh, 45 degree slopes in dark tan. And we'll need uh, two of these assemblies. And it will then uh, come across uh, uh, and connect up underneath as starting point uh, into those uh, tiles, uh, rather into the three by three wedge pl plates. So it's tacked up like this. Now to make that nice and strong and to pin it in, two of these sub-assemblies, they're a mirror image. So there's a, a three by three plate here in black. Uh, if you follow the boat studs, uh, that's then pinned in a on either side, a, a round uh, one by two plate uh, and a two by two plate here in dark tan. On top of that, uh, do I wanna open this up? I guess I can do that this. So over on this side, uh, where the, the, uh, uh, the uh, top of the green, there's a another one by two plate in black uh, that's carrying across, carries across, uh, and then a bracket, uh, one by one to one by one, round plate, round plate, uh, and uh, then sand blue color reveal uh, with the uh, cut tile on top. Uh, and to the back of this is a two by two corner plate on top of that two by two tile, some more round plates. And then we, so we need uh, two of these matching. And uh, this will then come up underneath and on the proper side. Okay, good. Okay, mini studs, much strength. All right, so we're getting a lot of uh, patterning up underneath like this. Uh, I'm gonna finish off now the ends of the stand. Uh, the shorter ends, uh, each in the center, have a 45-degree uh, slope with cutout, uh, and then uh, 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 underneath that are tacked uh, two uh, one-by-one uh, round plates. So put that in the center, and then use these wedges uh, to give the flow around it. And similar thing over here. Okay. Uh, for the longer edges, it's a uh, one by one, uh, uh, sorry, one by four plate, uh, two of those carrying a bunch of those uh, 45 degree slopes and uh, put that across exposed studs. And then again, use the uh, wedges to uh, tap this out. And I'll do the same thing over on this side. With that complete, we are almost 
done. Uh, the last bit uh, is the bit that I'm most happy about. So uh, we need now to, uh, I want to fill in these interior edges. And to do that, uh, we have uh, two kinds of assemblies here in TAN. And so the first of those is a uh, one by eight uh, plate. Uh, across the top of it there are these uh, four long curved um, uh, slopes, I suppose, four long curved bricks along the top. Uh, there's a one by one round uh, plate, one by one to one by two inverted bracket, and a tile on the end, uh, and then a, a round plate uh, with a bar. Okay, that's the first configuration. The second configuration is a one by five plate. The round plate with the bar uh, is uh, jumped into this stud, using that this is a hollow stud on it. Uh, which is very convenient. Uh, two more of the one by four uh, round bricks. Uh, there's a 33 degree inverted slope and an 18 degree cheese grater here uh, on top. So these are our two, the two configurations and we're gonna need um, four of each to fill things in. And what will happen is, I think I will start with a bit with the cheese graters. So uh, the uh, cheese grater will uh, the component that has the cheese grater will snap in. Oh, so nice. Uh, it rests on the back of this, uh, on the top of the stud here for the uh, the round plate. Uh, does it move? Feels really good and nice. And then here comes the other one. And uh, I will... this and this fit is perfect it's uh, really good and uh, so I just need to repeat this uh, several times Good and good. Last one. Wow, it's very satisfying. Okay, that's the bottom, top, and this is the uh, completed uh, display stand. Uh, for premonition. That completes construction for premonition's display stand. With it complete, I've now built up the entire model. Woo! If you've been along for this long, long ride, I deeply appreciate your curiosity and interest in the construction. Thank you so much. Keep building. See you in the future. Ooh. Mm.